Hello and welcome to a film mixologist. What I'm what I'm doing today is I'm going to be doing a video about this. It's called the six pack or tri power, uh, which was a setup. Uh, this particular one because of the linkage, I know that is for a Jensen interceptor. This is the UK, obviously I'm talking from. So, but it's a it's a Chrysler setup for a 383 which is what came here with this set of carbs and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to describe what these things are their development, their usage and and this is going to be the first in a series of videos while I restore these units but I just wanted to kind of introduce it as such so the first thing that, I, that I'm going to say is that a bit of the history, this units came in in high performance applications in the kind of late 60s very early 70s there was a very kind of small window where, where these things were offered and generally they were offered to for kind of like higher capacity engine more than 380 cubic inches and they were generally the engines that were you know the kind of like top of the range or pretty much the top of the range engines and basically what this setup is and let me show you here, I've got kind of another carb. Essentially, when you see a tri-power, think of it as being the primary side of a carburetor and two separate secondaries. So basically, and that's why it's clever about these units, because in at, at normal loads, and we're just doing, I don't know, 50, you can be using just two barrels of the center car because the center carb is the thing that starts the car provides idle fueling and provides that initial fueling these these two outboard carbs function in the same way as a vacuum secondary when the engine load picks up demand picks up then they start opening so actually from a use point of view this setup does make sense because on a normal on normal driving or low speed or low low driving you're driving with this center carb only and therefore you, you you're having kind of like sort of economy driving but when you when you give it all the beans you've got not only one secondary stage but you have two secondary stages so therefore the amount of, the, the amount of fuel is, 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 is like getting a petrol pump to just douse it kind of in front of the manifold. But they work very well. So let me show you a bit closer some of the characteristics of this ones in particular. Okay, so this is the out, what I call the outboard carb, the secondary carbs. And as you can see, the 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 secondary pod this is a normal standard you know 41 4160 pod and this is this one so as you can see it's much larger the the vacuum the the, the diaphragm is is about twice the size of a of a standard 41 4150 and in the case of the chrysler one what this is is this carb, the way it functions is inside here, it has a metering plate. Let me see if I can, if I can show you very quickly. And this is what meters fuel into the carburetor. Now, and here so is probably a good place to say that the systems, the, the, the kind of tri-power six-pack systems, uh, that Ford Motor Company had for like again the big big engines the 427 side oiler the 390 FE and that kind of stuff they had outboard carburetors that had metering plates and not and not this so in a Ford Motor Company you would have metering plate like here so let's try and take this off very quickly so you can see so you can see the the fueling system there we go and here it is so it has a metering plate and if it was a Ford carb you would get like this and like this and in there and the operation is very simple so when manifold vacuum kind of actuates basically 
the, the, the vacuum second is diaphragm opens it up like so and all the fuel starts, starts coming into the engine but it's, it's quite simple now let's show the the main carb so in this main carb obviously you've got you've got the choke here they have a, a thermostat that basically moves this hand and the thermostat is located about here on the on the manifold and this is what operates the choke this is just a choke pull off function so this is basically kind of a standard just two barrel carb basically there's there's not there's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of science to it uh, and this is a 350 um, carb uh, the primary and as you can see this one have much larger throttle plates so this are what will be the equivalent of a 750 and the other the other secondary is well exactly the same as this one so th these two are absolutely identical uh, units so uh, so I just wanted I wanted to, to make this video about what are the kind of general characteristics of this car I hope you kind of enjoyed it uh, got something out of it and so this these units are gonna come back again on the channel because I'm gonna do a full restoration and probably in the next video I'm gonna do a, a, an autopsy and explain uh, everything that's wrong with them because they they are not in great shape, I have to say. Uh, but um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave that for, for the next episode. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, for your questions. And I'll see you on the next episode.